Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a video which I'm surprised I haven't actually made before. Um, it's going to be a kind of walkthrough of all of my tattoos because <laughs> isolation, I'm bored. I've put on my makeup today, it's the first time I've put makeup on and it's the first time I've actually put contact lenses in my eyes. These ones are very green. Um, but yeah, it's literally the first time I've <laughs> looked slightly presentable. I've not even straightened my hair. As you can see, I haven't done anything to this. It's uh, it's what it is. But I look slightly more presentable than I have been doing. <laughs> so anyway, um, I am going to be doing a walkthrough of all my tattoos. So I suppose let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to be starting on this arm. So the one that most people kind of see most of all is this one. Now this one is, as you can see, we have Sylvie on here and we have uh, Glacier. Um, this one was done by um, Hannah at um, Tenacious Tattoo. Uh, this was like my third tattoo. Third tattoo? Yeah. Um, and it's like probably one of my favourites. I have a few favourites, but this one is like one that I know that I'm never going to stop loving because it's so well done. Like, you can see, like, the detailing. And this is, like, over, well over a year old now. Um, probably about a year and a half. Maybe even longer. I can't even remember. But, yeah, it's, like, it's lasted so well. Like, the only place where it's kind of fading a little bit is on my elbow. And that's on my elbow. Like, my elbow rubs against stuff all the time. So, you know, it's going to gonna rub off a little bit so I've got these ones on here um, I have my Connor from Detroit Become Human um, absolutely love this this was literally my second tattoo um, so it's Chibi Connor from Detroit Become Human uh, there's a couple of points where it kind of um, scabbed up quite a bit and then when it fell off it kind of took some of the ink with it uh, but I've not got it sorted out yet you know what you're gonna do um so yeah that one was done by hannah as well at tenacious tattoo um this one was my first ever tattoo so it's the washington capitals logo i got that one um when like the same campaign where they won the stanley cup i, I got this tattoo so it was kind of i saw it as a good look omen <laughs> like they got further in stanley cup than they ha ever had and they ended up winning it, so <laughs> thumbs up for that one. So yeah, that one was done by Sam at Holy Ghost in Rotherham. He did my first ever tattoo. Um, I'm sure I've talked about that one several times. Um, on here, I have got my little ghosty. This one was done by um, Field Inc. Um, Jen on instagram if you want to go and follow her she's like um this was when she was an apprentice i'm not sure if she's still an apprentice or not but she's like absolutely incredible now i like really need to get more work done by her because she's absolutely amazing um but yeah this was one of her um either friday the 13th or halloween deal things i can't remember um but yeah little cute ghosty and then my halloween lollipop <laughs> is done by um steph at holy ghost i love steph steph has my heart i love her so much um yeah so that one that was one of her um like friday the 13th ones or something then kind of on here <laughs> like this little part we have got my dean ambrose little cute little dean ambrose logo with the pink around it uh, this was done by Steph at Tenacious Tattoo. There's two Stephs I get tattoos from. Um, one of them is Steph at Holy Ghost. One is Steph at Tenacious Tattoo. This one was Steph at Tenacious Tattoo. <laughs> then I've got my M, which um, everyone says is a monster logo. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that when I picked the uh, the font, but yeah, it does look like a monster logo, but it's not. <laughs> everyone just assumes, but it's not. Um, it is actually for my brother. Um, who died when I was young and I desperately wanted to get like something to remind me of him on me so I have my 
my M, which is like always where I can see it. So I have that. That was done by Steph at, well, at, at Tanisha Tattoo as well. Then I have my CM Punk logo, which CM Punk, probably one of my favourite wrestlers ever. So I wanted to get something to do with him. Um, I saw that <laughs> this is like my first tattoo I got done by um, Steph at Holy Ghost. Um, I will link all the tattoo artists in the down bar. If you want to go and follow them on Instagram, please do because they are also talented. I kind of saw on Instagram and stuff that Steph was a wrestling fan. So I kind of wanted to go to somebody who was a wrestling fan to get a CM Punk tattoo. Like... <laughs> I have other wrestling tattoos and I knew that I wanted to go to Steph for those because I think that if somebody is a fan of something they will, I don't know, do a better job of it because they understand like, I don't know, you understand what I mean, right? <laughs> right? Yeah? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm talking rubbish. But yeah, um, she did my CM Punk tattoo, it was literally my first tattoo I got done by her. Um, little did I know that she would quickly become like one of my favourite people on the earth. <laughs> I just adore her. So uh, yeah, my CM Punk logo, with the first tattoo by her. Um, also got liked by CM Punk on Instagram. So yeah, he likes it. Um, and that is that for my lower arm. So let's get on to the top of my arm. Okay, so please ignore my big old fat arm. But on the top of my arm here, I have my spooky spooky bet. This one is done by Hannah at Tenacious Tattoo. Um, I absolutely adore this one. Like, it's so spooky, but it's still cute, kind of. Um, yeah, just, just look at the detail on that, it's incredible. Um, like, some colour has come out of it. Like, because it was solid black on the wings, like, she really needed to go over, like, all of it, like, loads. And I was just bleeding. Just, which she went for a break and literally just blood running everywhere. So that wasn't fun. Um, and it did hurt quite a bit because it was just a solid black. But yeah, it kind of scabbed up a little bit and yeah, kind of took some of the colour with it. Um, then up here we have my Baphomet, which I adore. This one was done by Eden Shaw. This was a birthday present, not this year, the year before. Um, this was when we were in Belfast for the hockey and I saw this on her flash and was like, I need that in my life. Um, so yeah, we have Baphomet. Then we have this one, which is Uber from Vikings. Um, he is my favorite character. I absolutely adore him. This one was done by Steph at um, Holy Ghost. And look at him. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, um, absolutely love this. Didn't hurt as much as I thought it was going to. Like with it being on the back of my arm, I kind of assumed it was going to hurt more, but it didn't. Okay, so let's now move on to this arm. And I suppose we'll start with this one. This one, again, is done by Steph at Holy Ghost. Um, a funny story about this one. Like, I was getting one of my other tattoos finished when they kind of announced Galarian Ponita and I was like, she showed me a picture on her phone, I was like, yeah, you need to tattoo that on me. <laughs> you, you need to do that. You need, I need that tattoo. And then um, she did like a flash piece of this Galarian Ponita and I was like, yep, I want that. I want that. <laughs> so I booked it right there and then and that's how this one came to happen. This one is a few months old now. I think I got it in January. Yeah, I got it on the 3rd of January because it was my birthday present to myself. Um, because my birthday is on the 2nd, so... This is my birthday present to myself. Okay, so it's so beautiful. Absolutely love it. We move on to this one, which, I don't know if you can see, it is a hockey goalie. This is like one that I kind of designed myself and I don't really like it that much anymore. Um, I'm kind of wanting to get it covered up. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's the one that I designed myself and it's the only one where I'm kind of a bit like... It's not execution or anything like that because this was done by um, Steph at Tenacious and 
she is incredible you'll see like one of her other tattoos i've got on my leg she's amazing she's absolutely incredible um but again i think that this one is like the one that i designed that i'm kind of not that keen on and i want to get it covered up so then let me move over we have my monster girl this one was done by um hannah at tenacious tattoo and look at it it is a beautiful monster girl kind of thing goes onto my wrist the wrist was the most painful thing i've ever felt in my life um i can't put into words how much that hurt <laughs> like just that little bit like I, I almost tapped out but this this was like seven and a half hours of work in one day um so it was probably a bit tender anyway um and then my elbow ditch that hurt as well but nowhere near as much as the old across the wrist that one really hurt but this one i absolutely adore it it's uh it's always on show it's always there um and yeah just it's so well done this is this is like very i think this is like a year and a half old something like that can't even remember but look at the colors on it still it's still so bright it's just incredible so again ignore my fat arm um then i have this one which is my finn Balor tattoo by steph at holy ghost because it's a wrestling tattoo and again she posted flash for it and i fell in love with him i love finn Balor anyway and yeah just it's just incredible look at him look at look at the detail in that <laughs> it's incredible um then i have this one which is like a mountainy kind of thing <laughs> done by jen at tanish tattoo um field ink again links all will be in the down bar and then we move on to my worst tattoo that i think i will ever have because it's shockingly bad it's really really bad like i showed this to um holy ghost steph and yeah she could not stop laughing at how bad it is to be fair it was for charity <laughs> but it's it's still absolutely diabolical um so basically what it was a hockey player um for the sheffield steelers was doing like a charity event or if you got a tattoo of like his signature or whatever um and gave the money to charity it was a free tattoo but you got you know the, the money went to charity which was brilliant if the tattoo was good <sighs> the tattoo is shockingly bad uh, me and my friend both went to get one at the same time and his was better than mine but his was still terrible um but mine is ho oh, oh, something else here it is look look at that ignore the scar that's on my arm but look look at that that is a signature what is that look at the line work <laughs> look at it <laughs> it's so bad um i really want to get it sorted out i like said to seth can can you sort it out for me and she's like no <laughs> No, because you need to keep it because it's that bad. <laughs> I don't want to keep it. It's shockingly bad. Um, so when I get around to it, that one is definitely getting covered up. That, that's, I always forget. Thankfully, I got it at the back where I can't see it. But other people can see it and they will look at that and think, oh my God, that's terrible. So yeah, I'm not going to be linking that artist in the down bar because I don't want like to hate on him or anything, but... <laughs> yeah it's it's it's, whew, it's it's not good so that's pretty much it for my upper half so i'm gonna move on to my legs i've got two tattoos on my legs uh one of them is big one of them small but let's have a look at them I'm trying to get good lighting on this and it's kind of impossible but yeah here is my john moxley tattoo absolutely love this um haven't moisturized him in a while so he's a little bit dry looking but yeah there's my john moxley done by steph at holy ghost and 
probably one of my favourite tattoos. Okay, so this one is done by Steph at Tenacious Tattoo. Yeah, this one is <laughs> adorable. Like, it is Spyro, done in her style. She has, like, a very particular style. And they're just incredible. <laughs> like, her tattoos are... If you like uber-cute kind of stylized pieces, then she is definitely for you. And we'll just look at that. Look at how cute that is. That is my tattoo walkthrough video. I have a few more planned, like, in the future. Um... There's a Kenny Omega one that Steph has that I need in my life. I need it to go on my leg with my John. <laughs> um, she's also got a Kitsuna mask that I love, that I really want. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video if you like the tattoo content. Um, and I will perhaps do more in the future. Um, but for now... That's it. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Adios.